Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another bonus booster cracking video. Today, we're doing something a little quick, a little short. I've got 10 packs of Caster Chronicles Polar Knights. Polar Knights is a very legendary set in the Caster Chronicles community because it is one of the more rare, less printed sets in English that you can find. Pretty expensive boxes. I think they go for like 150 bucks, something like that. And you don't even get like 36 packs. It's a smaller box, smaller set count. But there are some really cool cards in these Caster Chronicles series, and I have yet to open any Caster Chronicles being another Force of Will, uh, same I Spy Productions, I believe, that has created these. I could, yeah, I wanna make sure I got that right, but it's from the same makers. It's from the same makers. I don't know all the details, and you know me, I always get information wrong, so I'm not even gonna try, all right? So it's from the same makers of the game, and sometimes they even have some of the same characters in the Caster Chronicles as they do Force of Will. It's a little cohesive, mingling mix project that they've done and caster chronicles has its own fan base it's got its own moves and grooves some of the force of will people come into caster chronicles all that jazz and they're they've got a few sets they got like 10 sets out or something and they're continuing to make them slowly over time here polar knights i believe is like set number two or three it's not the first one but it's a couple sets in and uh man oh man is this thing like so cool it's got some really neat cards and some really neat secret rares that of course we'll be chasing for. You know I like to chase. And if you enjoy me doing some card chasing, go watch Sunday's video. If you haven't seen Sunday's video, Sunday's unboxing of the Moon Priestess Returns, you're not gonna wanna miss it, all right? Trust me on this one, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Go watch that video. All right, but today we're gonna be doing more chase cards. We've got some crazy cool secret rares in these sets that go for a lot of money and show some titties. Anyways, do they really? Yeah, a little bit. Let's cruise in to these packs here and see what we can find. I got 10 packs, so let's start with the first one. I believe, uh, let's just take a look here. We got the similar uh, kinds of cards that we have here. We got uh, RE, a Rico, a Rico, I don't know. It's a weird one, a rare, a super rare, a secret, and a hyper rare. We want the secrets. The hyper rares are pretty sweet too, but the secrets are what's important here. Seven cards, seven cards per pack. Let's do this, come on. And these ah, have pull tabs, but they are not easy pull tabs to open. That is for sure. Wow, okay. Oh, look at that. We already got a Cthulhu boy here. Look at that Cthulhu guy. I honestly didn't even know he was in the set. Swallower of the, what is that, fifth dimension? Fifth dimension? I don't even know. Shawing, Shawing, and then Tackless Fly. You know, we're just going through our basic stuff. Commons, Commons. What is this one? Uncommon. Soul Bond. Soul Bond is one of the cards that we're looking for, all right? Almera. There we go. Our R E R Rico. Rico? Rico. Rico card. Very cool, but it's not a foil. Here's our nice foil, though. A nice secret rare. Uh, super rare. Sorry. Super rare. <laughs> Look at how banger this looks. These are really awesome well designed cards i love all the flair on the sides along with how they mixed the little casting cost level two or whatever they want to call them but hulululululu a very cool one and i believe the hyper rare is an alternate art and she's got some really cool alternate art that we got to keep an eye out for next up let's get into it jeez a piece of why are these such a struggle to open four nights is like zipped closed shut like nobody's business all right, we got Zhang, uh, Zhu, Zhu Zhang, Zhu Zhang. We got Yogsoth, see? Same card art from uh, the Moon Priestess Returns. We just opened a couple of these up on Sunday, so. Uh, and look at another one from Force of Will, see? So they pull some cards, it's pretty crazy. We got an Uncommon. We got a Rico Afternoon Remy, interesting. And then behind it, a nice looking foil of Tenu Frula as a super rare again. We're getting some nice super rares. Again, these packs are, they're all random, you know, just blind bag pull booster packs, just random miscellaneous packs that were loose. So you never know what we're gonna get. I am sweating up a storm, man. It is crazy hot in my house. I gotta fix this issue in my house. It is so hot. Let's keep going though. Come on, can we get in here? Barely. All right, we got the little Moten flag, whatever it is, I don't even know. Uh, we got another common, uh, Velir, that's a weird looking bull ox thing. Dragon of Wishful Fulfillment, a uncommon. And then we got a Re, a Re card, Fairy of Papari, Papara, Papari, I don't even know how you say it. And then we just got a rare finally, just the normal rare, but look at how dope that looks. Absolutely stunning. Looks really, really cool. Awesome. 
I can't open these things, man. They're crazy. I'm gonna have to get some knife help out just to start it. There we go. All right, next one. Let's go. Even after you pull the pull tab, it's just ridiculously glued. So they got some good protection on these cards. You, you know, you could say that. But let's go through. Uh, Cosmic Bag, or oh, whatever that is, I don't even know. Soul Bond, Uncommon, El Superior is our Revi card. And then we've got a very nice, super rare, Fanina Fantasma. A very cool card, love the artwork in these too, some really nice stuff. Ah, there we go, come on now. Let's get into the next pack. We got Shub Shub in here too, look at that. We got Shub Shub, Lucifer, another Force of Will card. Uh, Devil's Chocolate Donut. Evil Presence, El Superior again as our read card. I don't even know how you're supposed to say that. A super rare though, Deshi Lion. I don't know how we're supposed to say these names, but all right, that's a cool one. I like the blues. All right, I sliced into all the packs now so I can just keep going and not have to worry about it. And that one opened a little bit easier, so there we go. All right, whatever you are, another Cthulhu, uh, Wang, whatever, uh, Uncommon. Then we got Mira Lara as our re. I, don't, I wish I knew how to say that. <laughs> Then we got a rare mint card, a cool little mint. The greens look really dope. Awesome looking rare, very nice. Next one, let's go. Come on, I hope you guys are enjoying the Polar Nights. And if you are, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below and let me know, should I get more of these packs? What do you think, should I invest in some more of these? They're pretty fun. El Superior, and then we got Morgan as our rare, nice little foil. Just a Morgan level one. Uh, I feel like she might not be that good. Let's keep going. We got three more packs and three more opportunities to try to find a hyper or a secret. But you know we want that secret. Got my kids screaming in the background. How lovely. Uh, we got Almara again as our recard. And then we've got Happy Earth. It's our little Happy Earth rare. Man, those greens are absolutely amazing. Those look so, so cool. Happy Earth. All right, it's happy. Two more, let's go. Come on now, we got some candy and whatever. I don't know, what is this? Come on, let's go, come on. Let's see, we got a little ladybug. Holder and holder, what is that artwork? That is weird. Night God, that looks like a freaking Pokemon. I've ever seen one. All right, Afternoon Raimi RE card again. I think this is a small set, so that's why we're seeing some repeats. And we got a rare of Kokoyoko. Kokoyoki? I don't know how you say that. Uh, yeah, the reds are just so so in those hollows. All right, we got our last pack. Let's open it up. Let's get into it. We got a fly on top, it looks like, but I can't seem to open these suckers. Tackless fly, explosion ball, happy. Gnarl at the top, look at that. Oh my gosh. Go watch Sunday's video. Trust me. All right, let's keep going. Silver key. Little L'Oreal as our RE card, the school swimsuit version, because, you know, they got to go hard on those anime tropes in these sets for sure. So I don't know if that's worth any extra value. We'll have to see about that. But then behind it, we got another rare. It's Lily Lulu. Lily Lulu. Very nice looking card with that white. Really dope. Really cool. All right, pulls of the day, I don't really know. I forget the value, but I'm just going to be guessing on a couple of these. So a couple ones. Mint, I think might have some value. Happy Earth, maybe, although I feel like maybe not as well. <laughs> we got Lily Lulu, a very nice card. Um, again, I'm not sure on this one, but I believe Halulululu or Hululululu, however you want to say it, should be worth a few dollars. And then, of course, the Hyper Rare is even better. So looking forward to seeing the price on that. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed the extra little booster cracking video of Polar Nights. If you did, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below, and let me know if you liked it. I want to hear your thoughts. And if you did, I got some other little random boxes that are a little bit smaller that I could open up. I want to try doing two videos a week, so let me know what you guys think about that. Subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.